The number one enemy of any high performance engine is detonation, right? That's the thing that breaks stuff. That's what breaks your pistons, that's what shatters connecting rods, that's what cracks crankshafts, and even like tears the main saddles out of blocks. It's not horsepower that does it, it's detonation or uncontrolled combustion. So like on a street engine, you'll hear it, you go down the street and it'll start to ping or whatever, and you know your timing is a little too far advanced or it's running a little hot. But when you get into you know the more high performance situations, especially with race cars, where there's you know open exhaust or loud exhaust and you're wearing a helmet, you know, there's all sorts of things going on, you may not hear the pinging. And detonation doesn't always sound like that. Uh, it, sometimes a consistent detonation will blend in with the other you know, more organic sounds of a, of a race engine. So how do you know that you know, you're on the verge of like throwing your crankshaft on the ground? Well, one of the best ways, aside from reading plugs, because plugs will tell you half the story, but they don't tell you the whole story, you got to look at your bearings, right? The rod bearings. So here's an example. Here's, here's two bearings out of the same motor, okay? And this one here, this is how you do this. You take a caliper, right? Zero it out. Yeah, zeros, okay. And you take your measurements, right? So here, 841, and we go to the center. Eight, well, this, is actually, this is actually narrower in the center, or I'm just measuring it wrong? 840, 841. All right. So we're basically consistent throughout. Like I pull the caliper from one end to the other and it stays at that eight, 841. Now here's one that's seen some detonation. So we go to this end and we're at our 8, 842. It's close enough for government work. Eight. And we come here to the center and 861, 841, 861 in the center. Now we come to this end here and we're back to 841. So what that's telling us is that this is the upper shell and as the engine was cycling, this thing went through a period of detonation where the, the, the piston and rod assembly was pounding on it and it actually squished it out and made it wider. So that's how you read a race engine. That's a good idea, especially you're running boosted, you're running nitrous, um, you know, you're running a loud car, a super high compression deal, you've got it, you know, set for lean and mean. It's a good idea after a hard week and running a thing, you drop the pan and take a look at those upper shells because that's what it looks like right before it starts trying to throw parts out of itself. I'll see you tomorrow.